Good. How are you? This was a good win for the team. They really pushed you guys hard. Um, had to respond, and you did. Yeah, yeah. They were. Uh, Coach, you know, was reminding us. You know, they were an NCAA tournament team last year, and you know they returned everybody. So, you know, we was gonna have to come out, and play hard. Um, they're an old, experienced team. So, yeah, we was just gonna have to come out and you know be ready. You know, they was gonna play. You know, to the best of their abilities, and you know they showed up in the first half. So, credit to them. Coach said after the Ohio State game, there was some uh, half-court stuff on offense. You guys were working in that you didn't get to on Tuesday night. Did you guys get some of that into tonight's game? Uh, yeah, I think our spacing was better. Our ball movement was better. Um, and just overall, like, just kind of team offense um, was better. Um, and yeah, after the Ohio State game, that was like a big emphasis for us, like just spacing, spacing the floor. Making it easier on each other, and then and then driving it. You know, if we draw another defender, kicking it or dropping it off, just making an easy play. Speaking of spacing, in the first half there was a good stretch where you were um, in a smaller lineup, the biggest guy on the floor. How comfortable are you in that type of role? Uh, I I say real comfortable. You know, um, I'm real comfortable banging inside. Um, actually, I'm actually looking to do more of that. Just as a thing I've said for myself. Um, getting in there more, posting harder, rebounding, all that. So, yeah, I'm real comfortable doing that stuff. In the right. first half, you kind of you, you had a couple moments you showed some physical frustration. How do you sort of pull yourself out of that mentally? Yeah, yeah, just uh, taking a deep breath, you know, realizing, you know, I got to move on to the next play. Can't can't dwell on it. Um, and, yeah, I'm never the type to really get stuck in something. You know, I, I definitely will show my frustration in that moment, but then I, I, I usually snap out of it real quick. So, uh, yeah. Where does that come from? Yeah, just stay poised. Um, you know, if something bad happens, it happens. You know, you can't you can't do anything about it besides make up for it the next play. So, um, just having that mentality, next play mentality. The second game around, it seemed like the opponents were trying to get physical with you in the post. Do you think that's going to be a pattern moving forward, and, and how can you kind of handle that moving forward? Yeah, I think uh, I think different teams are going to play me different ways. Uh, you know, some teams are going to try and be physical. Some teams are going to play off and dare me to shoot. Um, some teams are going, you know, try and pressure me a lot, like when I have the ball. So just being able to handle all that. And, um, you know, I think I can handle all that stuff. Um, I think my game's suited to, to be able to uh, succeed against any coverage. So, um, yeah, just adjusting, seeing how teams are playing me, uh, playing accordingly. There's been a lot of talk about Wendell and how his body has changed. Just in the time that you've known him, have you seen his arms get bigger? Have you seen him hit the weight room crazy? Did you work out with him at <laughs> uh, Well, when I got here, Wendell was pretty built uh, already. Um, but knowing him back in high school, going to USA Basketball and stuff like that, seeing him on the UIBL circuit, you know, yeah, it's, but his body definitely has changed since he got here. Um, you know, he's a real, real strong guard um, who can move really well. So he's a, he's a mismatch um, pretty much well with whoever's guarding him. Uh, and yeah, so is we work, we do work out together. Is he a beast in the weight room though? Like, is he intense in there? Uh, I mean, I think we all are, honestly. You know, <laughs> Co Coach Will, you know, our strength, give credit to our strength coach, Coach Will. Um, you know, he makes sure we're all going hard in there, uh, lifting, pushing weight. So, uh, but yeah, not. Nah, Wendell definitely takes it serious. That's what you're asking. So along those same lines, obviously Wendell's growth as a player overall has been substantial since last year. What have you noticed, you know, not just physically, but as a player since you started to work with him over the summer, just his growth throughout the summer and this season? I mean, to be honest with you, it was like this from the very jump. Um, literally the first first week of practice, like he was, the, he was the most vocal, you know, talking to everybody. And in practice, he was doing what he's doing now. So. Um, like I, I let out a tweet. I don't know if you, I have it, <laughs> but I said <laughs> somebody uh, asked me who's a, like what's going to be the biggest surprise, and I said you know Wendell's ridiculous. So like like I said, I, and that was back in the summer. So I, I've noticed it from the very from the very get go. Um, but yeah, I mean his growth from freshman to sophomore year obviously he's been big. You guys are all seeing that, but to me, you know, he's been doing this since I first got here. Someone asked you that question on Twitter, or you just threw that out there? Nah, someone had asked me uh, what was going to be the biggest surprise or something like that, and I, and I said Wendell is, is really good or some some around that. Good. You can pull a tweet up. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned you were going to try to make an emphasis on going in the paint more, but you've got a great handle too. I noticed, uh, you know, you, you handled the ball well. Mm -hmm. Is Coach Hay give you a green light on that? I mean, does mm -hmm. he allow you to? Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't want me to turn into – and we're on the same page, but right. he doesn't want me to be too –
to finesse and stuff like that. Like obviously right. I'm 6'10", 250 pounds, so just always imposing my will. And obviously, you know, I understand that as well. So um, when I go inside, like that doesn't mean I'm not going to be outside or not bring the ball up or push it in transition. That just means in the half court or, you know, more times than not, I'm going to try and impose my will on the inside. And that'll, open, that'll open things up for me. I mean, I still hit two threes a day. Um, but I felt like I got to the basket better today. And, um, you know, I, I missed some chippies today, uh, frustrating. But I think I took a step forward in that aspect. Paulo, Coach said that they were more physical to start, and Theo brings this kind of aggressive mentality. What does he do for you guys, for the rest of you guys, when he comes in with that kind of physical mentality? Does it change how you think and approach and kind of get you started? Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, I think it does for us just because we know, like, as a team, nobody's going to out physical Theo. Um, so, you know, when he comes in the game, we know we're going to have that physical presence. Um, but at the same time, when he's out the game, he's, he's, on, he's on us to, to bring it as well. Like, he's in me and Mark's ear. He's in everybody's ear, you know, letting us know, you know, we got to be strong and box out or put a body on whoever. Um, so he's always that constant reminder for us.